I am Marasov, Queen of the Reef. I once made a great sacrifice to protect humanity from the Hive. I lost everything. My fleet. My brother. My people's very way of life. I watched the dreaming city fall into ruin. Desecrated by Oryx. Cursed by Savathun. Now I've returned to retake this sacred place, to finally wrest it free from the Hive's claws. Although you have taken things near and dear to me as well, you have also learned that your list of enemies need not be so broadly defined. Today we are afforded a unique opportunity. The road ahead of us is fraught with perilous choices, Guardian. Choose wisely. Old friend, it is an honor to fly alongside you, though our mission is grim. Ikora issued an order for Osiris's arrest. She has questions about his involvement in Lakshmi's attack on the Elitsni. I volunteered to collect him from the Dreaming City, where he now hides. No one will touch Osiris until I know the truth. He has acted rashly in the past, but I have never seen him willingly endanger the city. Something is wrong. I have felt it for some time now. He is distant. Help me bring him home. I am... Uh, I am making way through the opposite flank from you. The hive are swarming. We will be as the mighty crabs of old and pincer them. Break their lines and meet me at Osiris' signal. Geppetto says there's another ghost nearby. Lightbearer, reveal yourself. That would be me. What are you doing here, poor brother? Did Zavala not send you away? Osiris called me for help. With all these hive around, I can see why. This reeks of Zebu wrath. He... called you? No. Go home. This is not your fight to take. It is mine. You can't keep him in a cage, Saint. You're not the only one who cares about him. Lectures? You know nothing. Osiris is not himself, and I will be the one to bring him back. Still fumbling around in the overworld, old light? There's an awoken device near you. It should let you slip into the Ascendant Plane and get you closer to Osiris. Crow and I used them to hide from Wrathborn. Stalk. We were stalking, not hiding. Taken portals, awoken dimensions. Fine. Go, Guardian. Take the Crow's path. The Ascendant Plane should skirt you past the Hive's barricades. Just be sure to mind the Taken. Word to the wise. Bringing down Quiria left the Taken rattled. I don't think Savathun has control of them anymore. No matter. My bullets do not know the difference. Guardian, any taken signals falling on you. A big Wrathborn heading your way too. Be brave. Osiris is not far ahead. I am not far ahead of you, Guardian. We converge on Osiris' signal. Then we'll see each other soon. Crow out. Whatever happens, friend, we cannot lose him. Even if I do not understand, I must believe his actions have purpose. I had hoped you'd find your way back. I'm a bit lost, actually. But this feels familiar. Do I know you? Osiris! You must come home! 
answer for what you have done. The Vanguard will show mercy. Yes. Ikora and Commander Zavala are nothing if not generous. Queen Mara. Look how they've welcomed the crow into their flock. It isn't too late. You can still be forgiven. Be careful. I'll, I'll hold, hold you, you to, to it. it. weapons. Osiris still lives. You trust this thing? This thing and I have come to an agreement. You need only cooperate. What is it? I am Savathun, the Witch Queen, sister of shapes, deepest in the Hive Coven, etc., etc. My sister Zivor Rath hunts me on behalf of another. I wish only to be free. And Mara Sav has graciously agreed to help. And Osiris? Sweet that you should care, little bird. I have been Osiris for as long as you have known him. But rest assured, I will return him safely to you. In exchange for your assistance. Queen of Lies! Pray this is the one time you are telling truth. The Vanguard must know what has happened here. Stay, Guardians. I will go. Someone once told me that the line between light and dark is very thin. Walk it alongside me. For Osiris. This will guide you. A powerful relic of awoken design. Take it and return to your helm. Approach, Guardian. Believe me when I tell you that I did not know of Sabathun's deception until she arrived in the Dreaming City. She offered me a bargain. If I exercise her worm, she will release Osiris and help us defeat the Black Fleet. I recognize the risk. Her inevitable betrayal is all but a guarantee. But without her worm, Sabathun is vulnerable. Unprotected by the security of her throne world. Mortal. To separate Savathun from the parasite inside her, I need Techians, skilled awoken mystics. Few still live. Most were lost, guiding my return to the Dreaming City when Zivu Arath ambushed us. But I can still feel their minds. The mystic compass you hold will reveal pathways to each lost Techian. Relight the pathways of the Ascendant Plane and guide my people back to me. My wrath, Petrovenge, will brief you further. Queen Mara has already told you we must recover our lost Techians in order to free Savathun from her servitude to the Worm Gods. I will tell you how. Imagine the universe as a set of coins, stacked one on top of the other. The top coin is our reality. The bottom, the ascendant plane. Between them lies an intermeshing of ever-shifting pathways known as ley lines. Almost all the ancient pathways are now defunct, but beings of paracausal ability can navigate and rebuild them. This is the art of wayfinding. We know our lost Techians are stranded somewhere among the ley lines, and they're leaving us markers to follow. I'm forwarding you the coordinates to the first marker. It should tell us which ley line to look in. Then we'll use the blind well to tear open a rift and send you through to find them. Zivu Arath is desperate to capture her sister. Her forces, which now include the Taken, 
will attempt to stop you at every turn. Listen, I know your crow intends to accompany you. Mara also wants him close. Our Techians went to retrieve Queen Mara on my orders. This can't fail. Not because of him. Welcome back to the Blind Well, Guardian. It enables transit between this reality and the Ascendant Plane using paracausal ley lines. Unfortunately, this gate opens both ways. Zivu Aroth, Hive God of War, is trying to secure it for an invasion of the Dreaming City so she can capture Savathun. We must hold this location at all costs. Glad to have you along, Guardian. Zivu Aroth's forces have infested this area. Their taken rifts are destabilizing the ley lines, making alignment impossible. Hold off the Taken as best you can. Once their leadership arrives, put them down and bank their Taken essence. That should close the rifts and secure the area. Just like streams of water, ley lines can be polluted. Zivorath will use them to poison the blind well if she can. Stay vigilant. There's scorn inbound. It's unclear whether they're coordinating with Zivu Arath's forces or just taking advantage of the chaos. We can't risk them poisoning the blind well with dark ether. Let's clear them out. The scorn will try to harvest ether from these dead servitors. The servitors will release the ether at regular intervals. Keep an eye on the harvester to anticipate it. Once the ether is released, destroy it before it gets to the harvester. Good work shutting down the Scorn, Guardian. The timing of their mission is suspicious. Is this coordination with Zivo Arath, or mere coincidence? Zivo Arath is sending her strongest lieutenants to secure the Blind Well. We can't allow them to establish a beachhead for the Hive. Well done, Guardian. The Reef Born, thank you. If we are to survive the coming storm, the Tower and the Dreaming City must stand united. We'll hold the Blind Well together. As we open more ley lines, we can start exfiltrating our lost Techians. Once my coven is reassembled, we'll exercise Savathun's worm and put an end to her lies. Once and for all. Approach, Guardian. I have an awoken tale to tell you, one my brother recited to our people's children quite often. Long ago, great kestrels roamed the sky. They built ornate nests in the heavens like conquerors. But in their arrogance, they ignored whispers of storms on the wind. Until one day, one such storm swept over them. It collapsed the heavens drowned their nests. So they fled, and the storm pursued them. Most died, but a fated few washed upon the shores of a great hollow oak. There, a mother kestrel guarded her clutch. Two shells bonded inseparably. A daughter, Riga. A son, Agar. Their hearts beat in unison. And they grew. Riga, intuitive and cunning, Agar, loyal but adventurous. Knowing they would one day wish to leave the hollow to face the storm, their mother plucked feathers from her plumage, and one from each child. For Riga, she crafted a crown to keen her mind, centered by Agar's luminous feather. For Agar, she crafted a scepter, Cored by his sister's obsidian feather to guide his spirit. There is truth in this tale. The scepter and crown, they are real. One I already have. The other, you will retrieve for me. When you return, I will tell you the rest. Behind the curtain of the universe lies the Ascendant Plane. Here, causality meets consciousness, and worlds are born. Go, find our lost Techians and bring them home. The telemetry you're sending from the compass looks good. 
There should be a beacon nearby. I'm detecting beacon alignment, but there are enemies closing on your position. I've never seen the Taken, Scorn, and Hive coordinate like this before. It's troubling. You've aligned the beacon. Clear out that opposition so it can do its job. Detecting severe paracausal emanations in your vicinity. Get ready. Excellent work, Guardian. We couldn't have done it without you. Why are we working with Sabathun? Is it the trick where we lie and kill her instead? Because sometimes you have to take risks to do what's important. Like stopping Zivu Arath. And save Osiris, yes. You trust her? I don't know. Maybe. I want to. I don't suppose you've tried beating his location out of her? No one lets me get close enough to do so, but I will keep trying. I am at your mercy, Guardian. This construct protects me from those who wish me harm, from my worm's hunger. But it is a prison, too. Quite elegant, don't you think? I have only one regret, and that is how long it took me to reveal myself to you. I see your synapses firing, a specimen scarred by skepticism. They call me a liar. But we share mutual interests, you and I. If you believe anything I tell you, believe in that. Now, let me show you a different interpretation of the truth. Who is Savathun, you ask? You already know. Oh, guardian mine. I am your friend. I tried to protect you from the Black Fleet. You called it interference. Don't worry. I was not offended. Instead, I found a form more pleasing to your eyes. Osiris was lost. Lightless. I saved him from Zivu Arath and assumed his shape so I could guide your victory against her. I ferried the reborn prince to your city, so he could be redeemed. I protected Zavala from Keitel's ambitions, ending a war before it could even begin. I delivered the House of Light on its knees to Ikora. I unmasked the enemies lurking inside your city's walls and destroyed them. You may disagree with my methods, but you can't argue with results. I am no villain, and you are no hero. We are paracausal. This is my fault. I invited her in. I convinced Zavala that we needed Osiris by our side. A dark pit looked back every time I met his eyes and I told myself it was his grief. Savathun knew she could use that. The city is the last place Zivu Arath would have searched for her. Now, Saint is tearing the system apart, looking for the real Osiris. You and Crow will need to take point with the Awoken. I don't like it, but he wants to help, and he's earned some trust. It's his decision. We're in a downpour of revelation. I've been trying to analyze every drop of information, as if I could isolate them before they're washed away. There's so much I need to reevaluate, so much I need to do. Interrogate the Witch Queen while we have a captive audience. Our enemies often flirt with arrogance when they believe they've won. See if she'll let her true intentions slip. This is the gatehouse. It leads to many places. 
The vault where I stowed the scepter is one of those places. The Atlas skews you've collected serve as star charts of sorts, used to map and navigate ley lines back when they could be freely explored. Aldrin had been searching for Agar's scepter for some time when he made these. Another daring venture to win my affections against my better wishes. He often embedded travel logs into his skews. Here. Do you still walk the old paths we made? Mother's old tales come to mind. I've been adding to my favorite. The twin kestrels whose hearts beat as one. You'll have to tell me what you think when I return with the scepter. Mother Kestrel watched perfect daughter Riga as she plotted the infinite paths of the hollow. As if concocting a plan for each way it could grow. But with her son, Agar, Mother instead held him tight beneath her wing in the oak's hollow. She pointed starward and whispered warnings of dangerous storms and cosmic sojourners that carved chaos in the sky. The beautiful depth of the dark spots caught his eye. His imagination was arrested by them. Agar struggled against his mother's wing, yearning to leap from the tallest branch and soar to see the storms for himself. But Mother Kestrel's talon caught him. She scolded him to never leave the canopy. She held him in crushing closeness and vowed not to show him the stars again. He grew to resent her protection. If it is still unclear, the twin kestrels represent Aldrin and myself. Their mother is Osana Sav. Aldrin found Osana's prescriptions restrictive. I never considered her a mother myself, but her dreams of foresight interested me. We both saw calamity looming, Osana and I. In the distributary, where the Awoken were born, we were eternal. Osana would hide there forever rather than face the enemy. When we left to form the Reef, many chose to hide with her. You're done here. I'll send for you when more skews reveal themselves. I know you have reservations about my arrangement with Sadathun. I feel it in your heart. For all her clever machinations, the Witch Queen did not anticipate your success in stopping Quiria or the Endless Night. Her schemes unravel, and now she needs my protection from Zibu Arath, from the Worm Gods, from you. I have already learned much by observation. The Taken pursued her here. Taken she once controlled. Taken that now serve a new master. Or, if Sabathun is to be believed, their original master. Not her brother, Oryx, but something far older. She fears it. It commands Zibu Arath to conquer the ascendant space surrounding the Dreaming City. To use the Taken in her campaign against us. For now. Sabathun claims that without the Taken, she cannot break the curse she placed on the Dreaming City. She thinks she can entice me with these half-truths and secret temptations. But she underestimates the lengths to which I will go to correct the past. The attacks against the Blind Well have become stronger lately. Is Zivu Arath trying to rescue Sabathun? Zivu Arath has plans for her sister. They do not involve a rescue. I've been to the Dreaming City before, but I don't know if I've ever really taken time to appreciate it until now. There is so much more than you've seen. And all of that, it pales to what resides in the Distributary. You could stay, if you wanted. I could show you. I'm not sure the Vanguard would... I don't know. There's no need to decide now. Think it over. You deserve to know your people's history. 
Your trespass beyond the veil brings you closer to victory, both mine and yours. Beacon ahead. Be cautious. I'm detecting beacon alignment, but there are enemies closing on your position. What horrors have my Techians endured in their wayward state? I pray they return to me as they once were. The final beacon is aligned. I'm detecting severe paracausal emanations in your vicinity. Get ready. It's over. The beacons have aligned and the rift is open. Bring our Techian home. here is overwhelming. With Quiria defeated, I assume Savathun would have lost control of them. But they seem just as organized, just as directed. By whose hand? There are greater things in the dark than Hive Gods, Ikora. The Black Fleet's powers are vast. Oryx did not invent the Taken. He merely borrowed them. Flint. How did you decide your guardian was the right one? Well, I had been searching for years for my guardian. Longer than most other ghosts. But the moment I found him, I knew he was the one. Are you sure you couldn't have searched for just a bit longer? Nope. Once more, we part the curtain of reality, and you step beyond. The Taken invest every corner of the Ascendant Plane I've seen like the tendrils of some great fungus, ever spreading. Excellent work, Guardian. We could The twin kestrels darted through the gaps between branches. The leaves formed verdant pathways. Predictably, Riga first, with Agar close behind. In those pathways, they traded secrets. Secrets Riga whispered to the flock hoping to push them beyond the hollow, beyond the forest. Most nights, Riga and Agar sat beneath the stars to dream. Twin hearts sounding a duet of beats. Like ours, Mara. I still feel yours. Still distant. In this story, Agar fixated on the dark clouded pox that marred the night above the canopy. He pointed to the starry spaces between them and asked his sister to name them. Riga never spoke a word. She already knew all their names and didn't want to crush his spirit. How charitable. One night. Agar grew impatient of her silence and pointed to one of the dark spots as it roared with thunder. The storm is singing to us, said Agar. We should sing back to show it we are not afraid. Riga wove her voice with his, and the thunder resounded. She did not sing with him again after that night. Rare to see stars in the ascended plain. I wish we were doing this together. Why hide the scepter if it weren't a test? I know you are awoken, cousin, but not of the reef. This may not be known to you. When the awoken people came into being after the collapse, I was the first. As first, my chosen form defined what an awoken could be. Thousands followed my example willing themselves into existence within the distributary. Some, like Aldrin, required help. His mind was like an unsteady form. No surprise he was unable to do it on his own. So I guided him, filled the gaps in his memory. I gave him a star to follow. He was bonded to me, and his devotion spiraled into pathetic recklessness. Even through death, he hasn't outgrown that dependency. I see it in him, as he looks longingly to his ghost for answers. To you. 
We awoken were born of light and dark. Our perspective on the universe is a complex one. The light is not inherently good, as your warlords of the Dark Age so clearly demonstrated. In spite of Zavala's preconceptions, darkness is not inherently evil. Some among you already discovered this on Europa. In my travels, I have seen true evil. It is the worm gods that the Hive serve. It is the Black Fleet, waiting to strike. It is the entity that commands them all. The voice in the darkness. These creatures are not evil because they wield darkness. They are evil because, like Sathun and Zivu Arath, they are cruel, hateful things with no regard for the lives of others. Some might say that includes me as well. I will let history be the judge of my guilt. Before that judgment is cast, I will see my Techians returned. Perhaps with them, I can save us all. Riga worried their song had attracted the storm's attention and made plans for the flock to leave the hollow. She locked herself away to study. The separation pain. Like you know it does. Unable to bear the loneliness, Agar finally took to the sky. High above, the open air cradled him like star cloth ribbonettes. He felt peace in the deafening rush of wind across his feathers. Once he found them a new home, Riga would love him as he loved her. She would offer him the scepter their mother had crafted for him. The scepter that Riga selfishly kept. But as he approached the forest's edge, night fell and thunder shook his heart. Agar saw a great storm building on the horizon. Had he the scepter, he could have fought. Instead, he listened, straining through the thunder for the faint, secondary beat of Riga's twin heart. Through lightning and chaos, he followed it home. Agar told Riga of the storm, the forest's edge, and the gleaming bulbs of starlight clashing overhead. She didn't scold him or tell Mother Kestrel. She listened and heard the possibility in his tale. Gratitude. Imagine that. In another life, I'd have appointed Aldrin dominion of the reef's borderlands to expand and connect the kingdom under my reign, Agar's scepter in hand. He would have used it to open doors and challenge foes best left alone. He was not unlike a guardian already, and he would have died before his time. Aldrin's fall was a predetermined point, so I hid the scepter away and gave him something safe to chase. He often strayed from that path. Beacon alive. They'll have felt that. Be ready. Last beacon aligned. Be ready for anything. Excellent work, Guardian. We couldn't have done it without you. That's just... I can't shake the feeling of dread. Like something out of a bad dream. And not just the time the High Celebrant threw me in that pit. It's like this place is haunting me. Or you're haunting it. 
The Ascendant Plane is as much what you bring to it as it is what you see. Osiris was like family to me. You've never even met him. I know. Just let me speak to Sabathun, please. No. I won't give that witch another chance to dig her claws into you. Maybe she's right, Crow. You know I am. Sabathun is already in your head. You're a liability to the mission. Why do you have such a problem with me, Petra? Five minutes, that's all I'm asking. The Queen of the Reef forbids it. Well, I don't take commands from the Queen of the Reef. Sabathun unraveled the Dreaming City with a single wish. I've spent years trying to contain that mistake. Better men than you died because of it. To my ear, it sounds like you're the liability. Maybe your queen's trust in you was misplaced. A knife against a hunter? Hmm. <laughs> I'd be more careful who you pick fights with. Another step, and my corsairs will have to prepare you a second grave. Save it for the hive, both of you. This isn't getting us anywhere. Thank you. We could all probably use a minute to cool off. Oh. Oh, no. Keep both eyes on that one. You can't stop the inevitable. No one can. Though Petra Van seems perfectly willing to try. I've always sympathized with Crow, you know. All the kind words I shared with him as Osiris were sincere. I know what it's like to be an exile. To be hated for things outside of your control. It would be better for Crow if we talked. I want to explain why I did what I did. I want him to know that my affection is true. Because the less he knows, the more vulnerable he is. Doomed to be strung along by false promises from supposed benefactors. But then again, I'm the one trapped in the crystal prison. What do I know? Glint, patch me into Misrax. Venge thinks I'm vulnerable, and I'm supposed to just take a seat. Like I was the only one fooled by Savathun wearing Osiris' skin? You'd known him far longer than I thought I had, but I don't see her forbidding you from speaking to her. Because it's not about me. It's about who I was, isn't it? Every time the Vanguard tells me that things will get better, I thank them. As if it's a privilege not to be beaten to death. Our past lives aren't supposed to matter. I'm beginning to wonder why I'm the only guardian being judged by mine. No more apologies. No more creeping around on eggshells. I deserve an audience with Savathun. I deserve to know how much of what she told me as Osiris was a lie. I deserve answers. I don't need to be Marasov to see into your mind, Guardian. You think I'm making a mistake. You think I barred Crow out of pettiness. I won't say I didn't recommend it, but it was the Queen's order for his own safety. I see Prince Aldrin's arrogance in him, his desire to please. He's vulnerable. Aldrin and your Crow are echoes of each other. Surely you can see that. They share kindred weaknesses. Sabathun will exploit them again if we let her. But with Mara back, I can finally see the end approaching. It's been a long time coming. There are still Techians in need of your strength. I wish I could fill their place, but this must be how things are. I'm here if you need me. Each ascendant beacon you reawaken reclaims a road once lost to me. Broadens my sight, but my realm still aches. 
Savathun has done so much to destroy everything my people worked for. She stole my brother from me, twisted his mind, and delivered him to his executioners. Then she had the audacity to steal him from the Traveler, manipulate him, and... lead him back home. It is strange, having him here. And yet not. Fro is a wounded bird, flinching away from me, so much like Aldrin, but lost without a guiding hand. Do you understand why I forbade him from speaking with Savathun? This reunion is such cruel kindness. I will find a way to repay her for it. And you will continue to bring me the Techians I need to do so. Agar, much loved by the flock, convinced a great many to fly with the twins when they left the hall. He knelt before Riga and presented the crown of feathers their mother had crafted for her and waited respond in kind. She rose as queen, but did not gift Agar the scepter. His scepter. Despite everything, she still said he wasn't ready. It was a test of his will, right? His devotion. One he would not fail, for he was patient. So patient. Together the twins led the flock away from the oak's hollow to carve new nests in distant boughs beyond the forest's edge. Agar flew far and wide at Riga's behest, always thinking of her test, and returned home with tales of all that he had seen. Dark clouds surrounded them. Fires burned within trees, split by thunderous bolts. His twin kept his words close. Riga scattered prophetic bones and traced their curvature like weathered oaken bends. In them the signs were clear. A great storm did indeed approach. They in its path. And so they prepared themselves for war. I wish. I wish you'd just give it to me. I could use it to help us face what we both know is coming. It doesn't even belong to you. This coming storm he speaks of was the flashpoint. The battle of Saturn against the Taken King. It was the shift from stability into dissonance. I failed to shape Aldrin in accordance with my goals, but if I were to take all that he was and reveal that past to him now, would he be my brother? Or is it only his echoes that remain? I see many of those same beginnings leading now to different ends. Tell me, would you be so forgiving if Crow carried more of Aldrin with him? Would you still accept him? A defensive ward has been engaged over the scepter. It is a failsafe to keep it protected. Either my brother found this place without my knowledge and set it off, or the ward was engaged when the surrounding architecture suffered structural damage. There is a bypass. It is code, kept secret, in that it has been scattered across dozens of terminals throughout the Awoken territory. Fret not, you don't have to collect them. I will have the pieces consolidated and reformed. While you wait, you needn't stand idle like a lost child. Return to me. My borders are threatened. And you're certain she's contained? Certainty is a necessity. It is your doubts we should fear with Savathun among us. Be straight with me. Remember who you are speaking to. I hold all the keys to all your futures. I would not let them dangle carelessly without attention. Savathun's never been a one-track type of opponent. She's playing you. We are not the same, Ikora. This is a plan long set in motion. 
she is contained and soon to be dead. Was Osiris's capture part of your plan then? Segura's death? Navigating the future is not always clear. If you're willing to sacrifice my people for your plans, how can I be sure you'll wait to see Osiris return before slitting the Witch Queen's throat? I mourn for Segura. I have every intention to see Osiris return safely. It's more than you did for me. If my assurances mean nothing to you, let me offer a warning instead. You are following your doubts into Seraphim's trap. Your arrogance might kill another one of my friends. If he isn't dead already. Had I more wishes, things would not be as they are. Had you more wishes, they'd be much worse. Excellent work, Guardian. We couldn't have done it without you. Based on this latest expedition, Zivu Arath's forces appear to have gathered their strength. Zivu Arath's title as the Hive God of War is no mere gilding. She earned it. She is a strategist and tactician. Her sister may be known for her cunning, but there is more at work here than a sword's edge. People of the last city, recently the Vanguard has been scrutinized for a lack of transparency. And we've paid for it. I hope this broadcast represents our efforts to the contrary. Many of you came to me having witnessed the Vex attack. Many of you claim to have seen Osiris present there. We now know this was a deception, an illusion spread by our enemies to turn us against each other. It worked for a time, and we mourn those lost to the senseless violence unleashed in our streets. But we have overcome that fear, and we now stand united. Humanity, Elixni, and the Awoken of the Reef. Our allegiance is what the Witch Queen fears. It is what she meant to stop by sowing discord. It is what will lead us to victory. Know that this battle is not one we are bringing to your doorstep, but it is one we fight to keep the city out of the line of fire. The Vanguard asks for your patience and understanding. If you can offer those, we will offer what insights we can to your questions. You are always welcome in the tower, but I will be in the streets. I've been thinking about family quite a bit. What with all the spare time I have. It might surprise you to hear, but everything my siblings and I have done has been for each other. Even though the Vanguard isn't quite the same, they're no different at heart. You'd do anything for your family, chosen or otherwise. Go to any lengths to avenge them. Look at the Crow and Queen Mara. Siblings, bonded by cosmic fate, forever orbiting one another like binary stars. Mara reminds me of my sister. She's afraid, holding on so tightly because she can't bear to lose one more thing. But we all have to let go. When I am separated from my worm, I'll be separated from Zivu Arath, too. And then my sister will be alone. The last of us. But as much as I care for her, I cannot stay like this. Osiris, I will not abandon you. As I speak, these guardians of the city patrol across the system searching. I am searching for you. No amount of hive spawn or Sabathun's trickery will stand between us. You will see freedom. You will return. It is not your way to die. Wait for me. As I did for you. You have never practiced patience. But hold on a few moments more. Satan. Have the hidden found him? 
Saint, you don't have to broadcast these live. I see. This is true. Geppetto can establish a repeating signal. It will forward any response directly to you. Besides, I could use you in the field. Yes. I am, if nothing else, useful. More than that, you are needed. I knew it was not him, but I would not listen to my heart. Compassion can be abused. Optimism has its pitfalls. Flaws don't make them worthless. Even lies can be learned from. Do not worry. I think I will not be using compassion next time Sabathon stands before me. No, I think we have a whole different set of emotions to deal with that moment. Osiris is out there. We will find him. subordinate came to my doorstep as a thief. Their death is the price of encroachment. Agur's scepter carves pathways toward one's goals. The compass you carry is based off the same principles as this weapon. In Oldrin's hands, it could have connected every edge of my kingdom. Through Zivu Arath, it would grant an omnipresence within the reef even I could not subdue. Deliver it safely to me. While it may never be Aldrin's, it may yet serve to guide what he has become. So you wish to hear the rest of my brother's story? Fine. I will oblige you. When the storm came, Riga and Agar rode the winds to meet it. A fleet of talons at their back. A great battle ensued. The storm took, as was its nature. Many fell, Agar among them. Riga could only watch as he tumbled down, down, down until her heart beat alone. She dove into the storm, giving herself to destroy it. Riga's spirit ascended higher into the sky where she hoped to reunite with her brother. Instead, she met the thing that sent the storm, a bottomless well of grief, unreachable by reasoning or bargaining or violence, a voice in the darkness. And so, Riga gathered her feathers into an aegis of wings to shield the world below. But over the years, feathers broke away. Futility wore thin her resolve. Then, one day, her heart began to beat as it once had. Doubled, distant, but different. A beautiful echo. Hope called her home. And though she prayed to find Agar there, he never returned. I still feel Aldrin's heartbeat somewhere out there. When your crow first stood in my halls, I saw an ember of my Aldrin burning in his breast. Curiosity and a sibling fondness told me I could stoke that ember. I hope it is not a lie. I hope he is more than the last ebb of hot ash from a long dead flame. Many of his faults were not of his own making. Aldrin's decisions were his, of course, but driven by whips in the hands of others. Myself included. I will have to offer him more than an old story of an empty promise if I wish to see that ember burn again. 
This is the path I led Aldrin down. If certain actors had kept to their roles, I would have wielded Aldrin Salve, Light Bearer. But even Mara Salve cannot control everyone. I celebrate his resurrection in the light, but I detest seeing my brother rewritten, his greater self sloughed away and swept into the cellar. There is still good to draw from who he was. Don't squander it. He needs a star to guide him. Aldrin or Crow, they are the same in that regard. Agar's scepter is yours, then. Both its burden and the freedom it can provide. Be careful with it, Guardian. He is prone to devotion. This mausoleum is a memorial to a Techium, Malori, the first Wayfinder to traverse this ley line. Malori was brilliant, like a star burning in the blackness of space, a beacon for others, aspirational. But it was her insatiable curiosity that took her life when she ventured into the Black Garden against my wishes, and never returned. Taken infestations, spreading like a cancer through the ley lines. These need to be cleared. The source of this corruption is at hand. Find it, and destroy it. These wells once served as springs of ascendant energy, used by Artekians to sculpt structures such as this. Now they are barren parodies of their once noble purpose. One day, perhaps. They will shine again. How long have your hidden been privy to Oldrin's resurrection? Long enough to watch over him in your absence. And you didn't direct him home. Why? There was a concern he'd pick up some old habits. You know the god made him sick. Riven twisted his mind. Eris would have seen it. She is not so easily deceived by skin-deep tricks. It's true I made mistakes out of an idea of justice, out of grief. Are you leveling the same scrutiny toward Petra? Wasn't she supposed to be watching his grave? Petra has paid her dues. The Vanguard murdered him and has yet to pay theirs. We both lost family. I'm sorry for my part in yours, but Crow has been treated. My brother is dead. He was exhumed, his body twisted into caricature. You had your vengeance. Is that what you're after? Cade, I still feel that grief like a stone caught in my chest. Some days it's more pronounced than others. Vengeance didn't erode that grief. Then tell me, who am I to blame? Who sent him into Samathun's clutches? Who bludgeoned Aldrin into a scared animal and drove him from his home? You did, Mara. And those guardians who hurt him did so out of misguided anger. Don't make their same mistake. Don't make my mistake. We are surrounded. A ring of spears pointing inward from the edges of our system. The Black Fleet could have destroyed us, and yet they have waited. Why? Sabathu knows more than she lets on. It is the only reason she still lives, and she is keenly aware of that fact. It is why Zebo Arath pursues her so relentlessly. For Zivu Wrath answers to the same entity as the Black Fleet. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. I must reiterate, she will try to betray us. It is all that a wretched, self-serving creature like Sabathu knows how to do. She needs me to free herself of her worm, but after that... The Blind Well requires alignment. As you rescue my remaining Techians, continue your audiences with her. How did Mies Rax put it? We must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Though I suppose he never said for how long. Petra, it's Ikora Ray. I thought now would be a good time to check in. Things are progressing as well as can be expected, given the circumstances. While we've recovered some of the lost Techians, we still don't have everyone we need to separate Savathun from her worm. Understood. Don't rush this on my account. Salvathun may be waiting for the freedom she thinks is coming, but frankly, I don't care what she wants. 
This needs to be done with as minimal risk to your people as possible. I know you hope that this will lead you to Osiris, but you want my opinion? Osiris is already dead. Savathun is a creature of lies. She has no honor. Your opinion is noted. And on the subject of opinions, how's Crow? You want my take? On him? In a word, vulnerable. But Queen Mara refuses to send him away. Though, you could. Trust is a delicate thing, Petra. I don't want to lose his. This is important to him. I trust Crow to make the right choices for you to protect him from himself if he doesn't. It's over. The beacons have aligned and the rift is open. Bring Artekian home. Another victory. It's refreshing to see what we can accomplish when Guardians and Awoken cooperate. I don't know. The Awoken out here seem to be good at doing two things. Losing and hiding. The Guardian and I could have done this ourselves. You're welcome to go off on your own whenever you like, Crow. I'd hate to play into the stereotype. I think I'll stick around. When this is over... I wonder if Mara will uphold her end of the bargain and let me live. Killing me is probably at the top of your to-do list as well, isn't it? You've done a lot of killing over the years. Let me ask you something. Of all the enemies you fought, how many saw your ghost and realized, ah, oh, that's why Guardians are so strong? Not most, but some. They might have even taken a shot at it. R.I.P. Cade. Now, how many saw beyond your ghost? How many followed the line of your light straight back to the Traveler? And how many knew enough to aim a weapon there? A few. The smart ones. The dangerous ones. You'd recognize their names. Listen to me now. Look beyond me to my worm. Look beyond my worm to something far, far worse. Then look down at that little gun in your hand and tell me. What do you think you're going to do with that thing? My coven of Techians is almost assembled. Well done. Soon all there will be left to do is wait for the ley lines to fall into position. Then we may exercise Sabathun's worm and reclaim Osiris. She divulges more to you than I, Guardian, though it can be difficult to separate poisonous words from the honeyed ones. I worry that the crow is especially susceptible. I feel the desire for approval in him, as I felt it in Aldrin, and he idolized Osiris almost as much as he idolizes you. Do not forget what has been asked of you. Until the ritual is ready, continue charting ley line passages. We are so close to bringing the last of my lost Techians home. Another victory. It's refreshing to see what we can accomplish when Guardians and Awoken cooperate. I don't know. The Awoken out here seem to be good at doing two things, losing and hiding. The Guardian and I could have done this ourselves. You're welcome to go off on your own whenever you like, Crow. I'd hate to play into the stereotype. I think I'll stick around. You were kind to me. I thought you were my friend. Am I not? You lied to me! I helped you break Zivu Aras hold on the shore, brought you to the last city, offered you guidance. Stop. If that's what you want. I want the truth. I was kind to you because I wanted to be. Because the truth hurts. You know this better than anyone. Shrinking away from the rumors of the man you used to be. I'm not him. 
How can you say that when you don't even know who he is? If the truth is what you really want, then lay your hand on me. Crow, don't. Please. See? Even your ghost thinks you're better off in the dark. Show him. Everything. No, wait! You hurt him. Someone had to. Better for it to have come from a friend. Don't give me that look. I told you that you can't stop the inevitable. Deep down, Crow wanted to know. He was going to find out one way or another, guardian taboos or no. You should thank me. Just imagine if it had come from someone with bad intentions. Someone who could have colored the truth about how he died to turn him against you. Against the Traveler. But I would never do such a thing. I see too much of myself in him. We were both looking for our purpose. Now that the Crow has found his as a guardian, he can see it for what it truly is. A second chance. Something to reflect on. If people didn't want him to know, was it to protect Crow from himself? Or was it to protect themselves from Crow? I do so enjoy our talks. Aldrin Sov, a Woken Prince, brother to the Queen, murderer. Now I know the man I was. And you. You. I'm sorry. You did what you had to do. I don't think I would have told me either. <sighs> Savathun's visions were like a waking dream. I could feel the heat of the flames, taste the blood in my mouth. I saw everything he did through his eyes. You're afraid of who I used to be, that he'll come back somehow. So I've asked Ikora to put me on another assignment. One where I can be somewhere I know my choices are my own. Tell Mara. Tell her whatever you want. I'll see you again when I'm ready. Ikora. I need to get out of here. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. I want out now. Either you reassign me or I'm done. Done? With you, with the Vanguard, with everything. Crow, you have my full support. If you want to be reassigned, I can do that. But maybe you need to take some time first. If I stop moving right now, I'm... I'm afraid I'm going to fall apart at the seams. I need to keep moving, but I... I can't do that here. I need to be as far away from her as possible. Would you mind working with someone you know? Who? I need an operative to act as an intermediary with Empress Kaido. It's an important responsibility. Maybe we could discuss it in person. I'll be at the tower soon. When I first saw Pro, I looked into his mind. I did not see my brother's memories. Savathun dredged them from a place beyond my grasp when she revealed his past life to him. She suspects I do not mean to let her live once the separation ritual is complete and is testing our patience. Perhaps she needs only to hurt me. The risk of her cunning is too great, no matter her intentions. 
Until the conditions are right for us to exorcise her worm, I am restricting all access to Sabathun. I will, however, afford you one last meeting to conclude your investigations before I seal her away. Steal your mind when you face her, Guardian. The Witch Queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We have one last Techium to locate. Go forth. Ikora, I need to get out of here. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. I want out now. Either you reassign me or I'm done. Done? With you, with the Vanguard, with everything. Crow, you have my full support. If you want to be reassigned, I can do that. But maybe you need to take some time first. If I stop moving right now, I will. I'm afraid I'm going to fall apart at the seams. I need to keep moving, but I, I can't do that here. I need to be as far away from her as possible. Would you mind working with someone you know? Who? I need an operative to act as an intermediary with Empress Kaido. It's an important responsibility. Maybe we could discuss it in person. I'll be at the tower soon. Your compass's work is almost done. We need to defend the blind well for just a while longer. And then Savathun will kneel before the one true queen of the Reef. The Scorn's continued presence here can't be all about the Aether. There must be a larger strategy at play. Strategy is not the Scorn's greatest asset. Their uncommon focus belies a greater will than we've seen before. The coming attack could destabilize the Blindwell's energy regulation system. If we lose the regulators, there's no telling how the Blind Well will react, or how Zivu or Roth will take advantage. Energy readings have stabilized. The Guardian's compass has guided us faithfully yet again. Zivu or Roth claws at the fabric of this reality, forcing her way through. Protect the compass. I can barely feel them. My Techians, lost between realms. But beyond that, in the background, there is something else. It is not Zivu Arath. It is not simple hive madness. It is as though the space between the stars has been waiting. Watching. And it hates us. A whole reality, sculpted by strength of will. And all we've seen are the thinnest edges of the Ascendant Plane. It's done. The beacons are in alignment, and Zivu Oroth's forces are in retreat. Let's bring our lost sister home. The Guardian is reporting in that we've made more progress in the Ascendant Plane. Have there been any notable changes in the Dreaming City, my queen? None. The Witch Queen stirs from time to time, but has remained silent. She can sense my ire. She is reveling in it. But I will let her have this small victory. Preparations for Sabathun's exorcism are underway. But the ritual can't begin without a cosmic alignment. It will take time. I want to express my gratitude for saving our new coven of Techians. They are young, with many years left to train. You've preserved their potential. Thank you. I tried to do the same for Crow, even if it pains my queen to see him leave. It's hard to imagine there's a safer place for him than at her side, but this is for the best. You saw what Savathun did to him. She could do more. Prince Aldrin and I were friends once, you know in our own strange way. I still think about him all the time. The sound of that gunshot. He's free now. To find his way between the stars. If only we could all be so lucky. I've been keeping tabs on you. Your victories against my sister. The mess you've made of the Ascendant Plane while you rescued your third-string witches. 
Delightful to see so many working towards a common goal, isn't it? I'm glad I can again be the catalyst that brings humanity and the Reef together. It's a pity Mara Sav doesn't see it that way. Her face is a perfect porcelain mask. But look behind her eyes and you can see the incandescent rage burning within. She's very upset with me. This will be our last talk until the day of the ritual, O oh Guardian Mine. Now that Marasov's coven is assembled, the only thing left to do is to keep Zivu Arath from ruining things while the ley lines fall into position. This may take some time, but I have waited millennia to be free. I can hold out for just a little bit longer. Farewell. For now. Um, Petra? Uh, Miss Venge? Can you hear me? What do you need? Well, I just... Do you know... I mean, what she... What Savathun showed, Crow? You won't tell me. The truth, I imagine. Or perhaps some shade of it. My queen is furious. Oh, right. I'm sorry. For a lot of things, but mostly for Crow. Being Crow. It's not your fault. I could have told him. So could I. It's not the same. No. I suppose it isn't. How long did it take Mara to forgive you? For a... What happened to him? To Aldrin? Be patient, little light. He'll come around. How do you know? Because Aldrin was always a fool for love. And your crow loves you. The time is at hand. The beacons shine bright and the ley lines are set in place. My Techians are prepared to perform the ritual that will separate Savathun from her worm. Although she claims she will help us in our fight against the Black Fleet and the entity that commands it, she cannot be trusted. You have coaxed enough information from her for my purposes. I will do what must be done. But know that Zivu Arath won't let her sister, or her sister's worm, go without a fight. I call on you once more, Guardian. Your knack for violence is needed. Make your final preparations and head to the Dreaming City. We will see you when you arrive. Guardian, thanks to your efforts, my coven is reassembled. Once the blind well is prepared, the ritual to exercise Savathun's worm will begin. The Hive are disrupting the alignment of the blind well. Realign the beacons to activate the ley line network. The ley lines thrum with energy. All is in readiness. Assemble in my spire for the ritual. The worm gods roar. After millennia of insatiable destruction, they are powerless against my retribution. This is Zivu Arath's last chance to capture Savathun. She's dispatching all local forces to the spire. Use the teleporters to join us as soon as you can. Corsairs to me! Fall back to the entrance! Hold this line to the last soldier! For the reef! Guardian, with the ley lines activated, Zivu Arath's forces are pouring in from the Ascendant Plane. We're being overrun! Break through the hive lines!
Guardian, commune with us. The ritual is about to begin. Hello, my love. Osiris admired your patience. But you look antsy to me. Having doubt? Doubt is a useful tool, but double-edged. Do not let it lead you astray. Ugh. Leave him be, and keep to your promises. Or I'll let him drag you into Zivu Arath's waiting jaws. And then she would swallow you as well. Why must we threaten each other? I am merely clarifying my intent. It is time. Yelaya, Sajari, Austin, and Sabbath. We are sisters of circumstance, bonded by fate. Open those bonds to each other. Become one. Expel the parasite from our collective. This moment is simply the strike of a match. The fires we light here will burn long after. Be ready. Large concentrations of Zivu Arath's forces are closing in on our position. Protect the Queens. None shall enter! Zivu Arath's forces are converging on your position. Defend Queen Mara and the Techians until the ritual is complete. Take shelter! You do come! sister bearing down on you. Your family is tenacious, if nothing else. No more than yours. My brother spent years suffering punishment for the path you made him walk. Finally, justice finds its mark. Let this be the end of it. Plans are fickle things. Two can view the same events and predict entirely different outcomes. I was outmaneuvered, and Savathun slipped through my fingers. I was sure that this path, these actions were absolute. But change is a prolonged effort. 
It requires application of steady pressure. There will always be backslides. Do not lose the summit in the climb. After Saint-14 returned Osiris to your tower, my Techians verified his identity. Savathun upheld her end of the bargain, and she did not escape unscathed. Her worm is mine. It will grant many insights, I am sure. The curse on the Dreaming City can yet be broken. Go home, Guardian. Prepare for what is inevitably to come. Osiris lives. Thank you, friend. Savathun tried to bury him, to use him like currency for bargaining. She wore his face and spoke with his voice, but they were not his words. I did not believe the Witch Queen would hold to her promise. I... I thought I would never see him again. He is... Lost in sleep. Without the light, it is difficult to know if he will recover. But he is safe. I need time, Guardian. I will see to Osiris's care. When he awakens, I want my face to be the first he sees. Perhaps I will joke that. Now we are even. Salvathun has many enemies, but she has never faced Saint-14. We will find her, and this time, it is her who will be buried. What happened? Salvathun happened. Techians believe she enacted a contingency spell the moment the crystal shattered. She transposed herself with another subject marked with a matching hive room. Osiris. Is he alive? He is. Very weak, but alive. The Techians have confirmed his identity. It's Osiris. No tricks. Do you have any idea where Sabathun is now? We... do not. She could be anywhere. If it's any consolation, we do have one thing. What's that? We have Osiris. In a way, Savathun kept her word. To the letter. I'll be sure to send her my thanks. <laughs>